France has taken a decisive step in reinforcing its independent nuclear deterrent, carrying out a milestone test involving its carrier-based aviation. During a complex, sea-launched strike scenario, a Rafale Marine successfully fired the newly renovated ASMPR nuclear-capable cruise missile, marking the first time this updated weapon has been evaluated from the naval air component. The operation, known as Diomede, reflects France's ongoing effort to keep its airborne nuclear forces modern, flexible, and unpredictable. The ASMPR represents a major advancement over its predecessor. While it preserves the overall structure of the earlier ASMPA, it integrates a host of modern upgrades, a new generation propulsion system, improved inertial guidance, and a significantly enhanced thermonuclear payload estimated at around 300 kilotons. The missile's range, now nearing 500 kilometers, provides expanded strike geometry, allowing aircraft to approach from varied directions and hit high-value targets well beyond the initial defensive layers of enemy air defenses. Its supersonic cruise speed also forces an adversary to react within a narrow time window, limiting interception opportunities. This test underscores the fully validated partnership between the Rafale Marine and the ASMPR. The French fighter's advanced RBE-2AESA radar, Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite, and low-level penetration capabilities make it a potent platform for strategic missions. Coupled with the missile's speed and refined flight profiles, the system offers a credible means of breaching modern anti-access and area denial defenses. The Rafale's ability to maintain situational awareness under emission control, EMCAN, further enhances survivability during nuclear strike missions. With the missile already operational in the land-based strategic air forces since 2023, its adoption by the naval air wing restores symmetry between the two airborne components of France's deterrent. France now fields a flexible dual capability, one that launches from fixed bases, and another that operates from the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, whose mobility complicates adversary planning. A moving sea platform creates uncertainty, forcing potential opponents to account for a nuclear vector that can reposition rapidly and unpredictably across vast maritime areas. The integration of the ASMPR into the naval force also brings significant operational benefits. A carrier strike package can exploit data from satellites, naval reconnaissance, and the wider French defense network, building a comprehensive operational picture before launching a deterrence mission. Mid-air refueling by A330 Phoenix tankers extends mission range and offers alternative routing options, making the strike path less predictable. When both land-based and naval forces are active, an adversary must divide attention and resources across multiple simultaneous threats. Looking forward, the Rafale F-5 upgrade, along with the introduction of loyal wingman drones, promises to further enhance France's deep strike and collaborative combat capabilities. These future systems will strengthen both surveillance and strike options, tightening the integration of nuclear and conventional missions within France's broader defense architecture. Beyond the technical achievement, Operation Diomede carries strong geopolitical weight. The test comes at a time when nuclear deterrence debates are intensifying across Europe, amid heightened tensions with Russia and renewed discussions within NATO about nuclear burden sharing. By demonstrating a modern, fully independent, sea-based airborne deterrent, France reinforces its long-standing stance of maintaining national control over nuclear forces. This ensures survivability, autonomy, and strategic depth even in a crisis. The successful missile evaluation also signals the robustness of France's defense industrial base, which continues to support sensitive programs essential to national security. It shows that France remains committed to ensuring continuity between current systems and future technologies, particularly the transition toward the next-generation ASN-4G missile. In completing this critical test, France reaffirms its position as one of the few nations capable of sustaining an autonomous, technologically advanced nuclear deterrent supported by both air and naval assets. This combination not only bolsters national security but also contributes to overall European stability by ensuring that France's strategic posture remains resilient, modern, and unpredictable.